Good morning, everyone. Welcome to worship this morning. We're here again at St. Peter's in our chapel, ready for morning prayer. There'll be plenty of text on the screen for you to follow along, or you can just close your eyes and listen. That's how I do it when I'm not in front of the camera. Um, my name's Donna. I'm here to offer the leadership role for this morning prayer this morning. Let's begin. I just flipped the camera around. Mm -hmm. There we go. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. For, for this, this is, is the will of God, God in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As, as in, in the beginning, beginning so, so now and forever. forever. Amen. We say this canticle together. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will. To the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 71. To you, Lord, have I come for shelter. Let me never be put to shame. <coughs> In your righteousness, rescue and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a rock of refuge, a fortress to defend me, for you are my high rock and my stronghold. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the pitiless, and unjust. For you, Lord, are my hope. You are my confidence, O God, from my youth upward. On you have I learned since my birth. You are he that brought me out of my mother's womb, and my praise is of you continually. I have become as a fearful warning to many, but you are my strength and my refuge. My mouth shall be filled with your praises. I shall sing of your glory all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of old age, nor forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies speak against me, and those that watch for my life conspire together, saying, God has forsaken him. Pursue him, take him for there is none to save him. Be not far from me, O God. My God, make haste to help me. Let my adversaries be confounded and put to shame. Let those who seek my hurt be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will wait in hope continually, and I will praise you more and more. My mouth shall speak of your righteousness all the day, and tell of your salvation, though it exceeds my telling. I will begin with the mighty acts of the Lord my God, and declare your righteousness dealing yours alone. O God, you have taught me from my youth upward, and to this day I proclaim your marvellous works. Forsake me not, O God, in my old age, when I am grey-headed, till I have shown the strength of your arm to future generations and your might to those that come after. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. Great are the things that you have done. O God, who is like you? You have, you have burdened, burdened me with many and bitter troubles. O turn and renew me and raise me up again from the depths of the earth. Bless me beyond my former greatness, 
O turn to me again and comfort me. Then will I praise you upon the lute for your faithfulness, O my God, and sing your praises to the harp, O Holy God of Israel. My lips shall rejoice in my singing, and my soul also, for you have ransomed me. My tongue shall speak of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be put to shame and disgrace that seek to do me evil. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's reading is from John chapter 9, beginning at the first verse. As he walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's work might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sent. Then he went and washed and came back able to see. The neighbours and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, It is he. Others were saying, No, but it is someone like him. He kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, Then how were your eyes opened? He answered, The man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes and said to me, Go to Siloam and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been blind. Now it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes. Then the Pharisees also began to ask him how he had received his sight. He said to them, He put mud on my eyes. Then I washed, and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not observe the Sabbath. But others said, How can a man who is a sinner perform such signs? And they were divided. So they said again to the blind man, What do you say about him? It was your eyes he opened. He said, He is a prophet. May your word live in us and, and bear, bear much fruit, fruit to your glory. We say the canticle together. We, we praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, Worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, you, Christ, are the King of glory, the Eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb, you overcame the sting of death, and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. 
bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to joy everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our prayer for the week. O God, the protector of all that trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you and our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal that we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we come before you in prayer, quiet and still, as we open our mind to the different things which bother us, the different things we struggle with, the different ways our life is not going the way we planned. And we hold them before you. We ask that you take them in your hands, our worries and concerns, and bless us through them. Help us to see your spirit in all that we say and do. Help us to notice you in the words of another, in the look of our creation around us, in the whisper on the wind. Remind us, Lord, of your presence with us every moment of every day every moment of every hour, every moment of every moment. Now that we see and feel your presence, Lord, we pray for those others who need prayer. Others who do not see you others who cannot notice or feel you, others who are tortured, worried or sad. Be with them. Help them to notice you even though they don't notice. Comfort and heal them, bring them to wholeness, remind them that love is there and help them to reach out and grab it. We pray for those who grieve, for those whose sadness threatens to overwhelm them. For those who can't see past their own pain. We pray for our community and for those who will use the pantry today, for those who will reach out for help, not knowing that it is your hands that help them. Lord, show us your truth as we minister to those who come.
show us your love as we love those near us. Help our world Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service always and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for prayer this morning. It is lovely that we are able to all share in this time of prayer. And I pray that this day as it opens for you and unfolds, that it holds some of what you dream of, some of what you wish for, and some of what God wants for you. Till next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye.